um so i would like to start with you know um, you know introduce it uh, as to what exactly bipolar disorder is so uh, you know as the name suggests uh, in itself bi means two so uh, you know this sort of a mental health condition has two strands or two poles to it so one is the depressive pole where the uh, you know uh, client does not feel very very good about their entire day they feel very low on energy they don't want to do anything around them and they often get negative thoughts which are not in their control um followed by there is the on the next pole on the next side of it we have something wherein uh, the client might feel very very energetic you know and they might have some days wherein they feel that they can do anything and everything that they they want to and um, you know they it can be coupled up with the uh, with with grandiose ideas it can be coupled up with a lot of uh, plannings and uh, you know so many things that you know a normal a uh, person within their practical limits may not be able to achieve so um, uh, you know that's why this uh, name uh, has been given to this particular mental health condition bipolar means that so you know there can be a lot of um, Uh, there can be there is something called cycling you know cycling means that there can be cycles or episodes of depression and mania what we call the one which is an accelerated phase of this this is that is called mania and which is um, not very accelerated and uh, the down phase of it is called depression so sometimes you know uh, uh, so it depends from uh, people to people sometimes there can be a rapid cycling there can be an ultra rapid cycling now what do i mean by these technical terms is uh, so sometimes there can be episodes of depression and mania in the same day itself so i might feel uh, extremely depressed in the morning time but by the time evening approaches i am all very uh, you know jeered up and i suddenly uh, i'm opposite to what i i was feeling in the morning some people might have phases so some people might have it for few days might have it for few weeks and uh, you know uh, again uh, th these um, things keep switching in based on days and weeks so uh, the prime uh, factor in this is uh, that you know you have to basically of uh, see all of us feel depressed at some point of time i all of us feel energetic at some point of time it is absolutely normal we are all humans you know but when is it then we when is it when we call a particular problem a disorder so when it is dysfunctioning your order of working you know so for example uh, if i am if i am feeling sad i've had a bad day uh, but still if i'm able to perform well on my duties or on my office or whatever has been assigned to me i'm still moreover able to you know given my best um then i would not call it a disorder you know it can be a phase or it can be a you know um, a light state of not feeling good or sadness or whatever but when slowly and gradually my day to day activities become dysfunctional you know when i am not able to get up on time i am not able to do anything at all i have all the happiness in the world but i still feel that there is something wrong i am not feeling good about it so you know uh, when it is kind of making me uh, dysfunctional in my day to day routine uh, so that's what we call a disorder so uh, you know and and in bipolar uh, disorder uh, so depression is something which is very very commonly seen and recognized by people uh but sadly the mania part of it is not recognized that often uh because a lot of people uh, think that oh it's just a very uh, you know it's it's a day wherein i'm full of energy and i can do a lot of things so um it has been seen uh, you know clinically also it's the people around uh you know those particular clients who are able to see that you know there is some sort of a elevated mood which is not really uh, you know required at all points but still the person is so uh, enthusiastic all the time so it's the family members it's the friends who are able to see that there is a drastic change depression on the other hand is something which sometimes people are able to you know make you make uh, 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 they are aware of it themselves also there's another reason why people are more aware of depression as compared to mania is because it's a more talked upon topic there is more awareness regarding just the depression part but as uh, you know paridhi had uh, you know said in the beginning uh, that a lot of people are not aware of why what bipolar disorder is okay. so <clears throat> that's why it is important uh, for you to know 
you know, uh, when to consult a psychiatrist or your psychologist or when to talk to your therapist. So uh, this disorder basically has phases, what we call the prodrome phase. So what do you mean by prodrome is, again, this is a technical term. Uh, so basically prodrome phase is when a person feels that there is slight elevation in the mood or there is slight depreciation in my mood, but they are moreover able to do things, but they don't feel uh, you know that normal or that good about themselves as they, as they were feeling when they were absolutely doing okay so this is a phase you know wherein all the family members or all um, you know people around them or even the client themselves you know they should be aware now this is the correct time wherein i should be going to a psychiatrist or my therapist and talk about it because at that time in that prodrome phase itself if you are able to uh, you know uh, gauge the symptoms and provide correct treatment to the client he or she might not land into that exaggerated state of um, uh, you know uh, problems or that exaggerated state of disorders so at times bipolar disorders if left untreated also uh, you know require hospitalization and treatments so it's important that you recognize these things uh, in your day to day routine and see one important thing that i always say to everyone who's here or you know all around the world that please don't um, take these uh, 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 you know uh, these words uh, bipolar depression anxiety these as stigmas or as labeling you know we are not trying to label you okay so if you come to me as a psychologist or a psychiatrist and you ask me what are you treating me for so i have to have an answer for it so this is a diagnosis just like how we diagnose cancer thyroid diabetes any sort of physical illness so we have named it right if I, if we call a person diabetic they don't feel bad about that because it's a part of the lifestyle disorders now but if we call somebody oh you are depressed or you are bipolar people get very very offended so i think in general it's not just for the clients because they're already going through a lot it's for the society in general they need to understand these are not labels these are absolutely normal diagnoses like we make in physical illnesses so please uh, don't stigmatize people who are suffering from it and please uh, support them because um, anybody can fall into you know any sort of uh, uh, trap or psychological stress or anything like that in their lives and another important thing that i noticed during the covid 19 timings i mean because this was a very unusual pandemic time which we have not viewed of course there have been pandemics in the past also but our generation in particular has not seen something like this before yes. so uh, so uh, in these times i came across a lot of people you know who had increased um, their uh, uh, you know uh, who had like increased sense of either you know uh, uh, motivation of you know doing things work from home because it was a change thing on the other hand there were people who were not very happy about it and a large chunk of people who were fearful of this uh, issue who had developed sort of anxiety depressive symptoms and so many other things at the background uh, because yeah. it's something new so i think it is important that all of us build some basic psychological skills and coping mechanisms as well to deal with these day to day things because life does not remain the same every day it's dynamic Thank you.